Psst. Companies don't want to talk about what's happening in their supply chains. They actually have no idea what's going on there themselves. And if they did, you as a consumer would be the last one to find out. It's a big secret, even for close trading partners. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, but that's okay? Most companies have already invested fortunes trying to understand what's happening in their supply chains in real time. But in today's globalized world, that's a lot easier said than done. Why? Because for transparency, companies need complete visibility first. They need to turn the lights on at dozens, hundreds, sometimes thousands of trading partners and their partners around the world. And that's where most companies still struggle. But here's the good news. There are eight important factors that will help companies want transparency and really hurt the ones who don't. First off, consumers are starting to demand transparency. They want to know where and how the products they buy were made. And there are regulations on the way now to enforce that. But we cannot afford to wait for those regulations to pass. And most companies don't want to wait either. They want and need transparency and visibility now, not only for when something bad happens, but also for their day-to-day -day operations. If you want to respond to sudden shifts in demand, you need visibility inside and especially outside the four walls of your organization. Because today, most companies don't operate as disconnected single organisms. They're part of networks now. Networks that cannot thrive without the transparent information flow across their entire ecosystem. And for that information flow, companies don't use the software systems of the past. They use the cloud now. Cloud platforms are becoming the connective tissue between all systems, objects, and people engaged in global trade. And they get turbocharged by the Internet of Things. Smart sensors, embedded chips, mobile devices, all of this getting cheaper, more powerful, and ubiquitous, making everything inside the supply chain smart, traceable, and transparent. But for widespread adoption of this technology, it helps to have incentives. The Financial Times just reported that the IFC, the part of the World Bank, now provides financial incentives to suppliers in places like Bangladesh and Vietnam. If those suppliers meet social and environmental standards, the IFC will give them an injection of cheap capital and the entire system runs in the cloud. What a great idea. You know, all of this makes me very optimistic. We still have a long way to go, but together with the people who make the things we buy, I think we deserve to finally enter the age of transparent supply chains, don't you think?